hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in the last video we saw the under and over voltage protection of an induction motor in this video we will see the under and over frequency protection of an induction motor as you can see that the above circuit is the power circuit the input supply is connected to vfd which is connected to the three phase contactor and then the connected uh, the output of the contactor is connected to the induction motor and we have also taken the L1, L2, L3 to the uh, under and over frequency relay. In the control circuit, we have connected the normally open uh, contact of under frequency relay to the normally closed contact of over frequency relay. And finally, we have connected the wire to the A1 terminal of contactor coil, while the A2 terminal has been uh, connected to neutral. Uh, shortly we will see the practical demonstration of this circuit so as you can see that this is my power circuit the input supply has been connected to the uh, VFD after VFD the connections have been connected to the three phase contactor after con uh, contactor we have connected a three phase induction motor uh, while we have uh, connected the secondary of the induction motor in the star connection. So this is our power circuit. Uh, while the control uh, circuit, uh, we have connected the A1, uh, we have connected the A1 terminal uh, with the normally closed and the normally open uh, terminal of uh, under frequency and over frequency relay. And then uh, we have connected the A2 terminal with the neutral. So let's turning on the power supply. I have set my under frequency relay at uh, 40 hertz and my over frequency relay at 45 hertz. So the induction motor will operate between 40 hertz and 45 hertz. So let's start the VFD. Let's gradually increase the frequency. So by taking the frequency to 40 hertz, the motor will start to operate so as you can see that above 40 hertz my induction motor is running by increasing the frequency up to 45 hertz as you can see that approximately 45 hertz my induction motor has been stopped to operate now I am again reducing my frequency so my induction motor is again operating so by using the concept of power circuit control circuit uh, in coordination with the under and over frequency delay we can protect uh, any type of load we want to protect so that's all about the under and over frequency protection stay tuned for my next video Allah